Upon my return to Ghana, I had the opportunity to join the African American Association of Ghana, their 30th anniversary, just like 30 years in Ghana. And um, let's walk through the journey. I'm in the house. Okay, okay. I'm going to tire. I had to, you know, I had to represent my, my Nigerian vibe today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I thought you see Sierra Leone. What's going on? Well, you know, that we, we didn't even talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I've been on this journey, one of the biggest questions that's come up is, what do I prefer? Do I prefer Africa? Do I prefer America? Do I prefer African culture or so-called African-American culture, black culture? And the beautiful part about this, being a part of the African diaspora, is that I don't have to choose one or the other because I'm a part of all of it. I love my so-called African-American black culture. I love my African culture. It's just something about it that's so familiar, and I love it all. What I really love about my so-called African-American or black culture, and I say so-called because all of these labels were given to us, none of them are indigenous, but I love our ability to change things around like this whole Stevie Wonder happy birthday you know we made it our own and that's something that's beautiful about our culture and I'm so glad to be a part of it. And everyone who's a part of our culture knows the theme song Frankie Beverly and Maze and then Soul Train Line I mean, it's nothing like it, y'all. It's like we know. It's like it's like a a, a call, ooh, ooh, and we know what to do. We know how to move. I mean, just look at it. I mean, it's nothing like it. And you know, this is just a part of how we celebrate this culture. But then you see the similarities in the moves. You see all of the different expressions through dance. And this what this is what connects us. Let me see. Look at that right there. I, I could take you to any village, just about in West Africa, anywhere, and you can find movements that are similar. And the joy of the celebration. And these are things that are instinctive. I mean, it's like it just happens. I'll check out my brother with the cool suit now. now it, if y'all know this brother, reach out to him. That, that suit right there. That, go ahead, bro. And he got his, got his glass in his hand. He know what to do. All right. How low can you go? <laughs> this is, I mean, just classic. We had such a great time. And if you ever get a chance to hang out with black culture and in that world, it's just something that uh, is very unique. And, and we can celebrate it all. That's what's that. It's not either or for me. And we even invite other people to join us. <laughs> yeah, see that Gap Band, you know, Charlie Wilson, you know. And then, of course, the electric slide. And, man. So, anyway, for me, it's not either or, it's both, it's all. And if you are a part of all of it, it's okay to celebrate all of it. When people try to force you to pick one or the other, you know, brush it off and keep it moving. So, uh, check out my man, though. He had his moves, right? He was moved with it. Right, right, watch out, watch out, watch out. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. He gone, he gone. <laughs> he gone, he gone. Oh, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it.
Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on a children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.